Oh, right! Hello, today we're gonna be playing Toho 18. Uh, I'm trying out controller for the first time. I did like a little bit last night just to make sure it worked. Not enough to actually play it though. Hopefully it'll feel okay. Uh, I actually haven't played that much of this game. I don't think it's a bad game. I just never got super into it. I always found it a little difficult, but I also haven't really played enough of it to get like a big hang on it and you learn by doing, so. Hoping we'll get some good experience. I don't know how good of runs we'll actually get, but hopefully we'll do okay. Thought the unfamiliar game and the unfamiliar control scheme might hold us back, but not for long, not for long. I do like this game a lot. It's like honestly just perfectly serviceable. That was a little embarrassing. I don't think we need to talk about that. I feel like it gets a little overlooked just because it's newer. But that's always what happens. <laughs> like it's so funny that you're just now seeing people like um talk about like wild we wily beast and weakest creature and like that cast because like the games have hit hit like the right amount of old to be talked about so i assume given enough time people will start talking about this game more often too <laughs> that didn't happen by the way um but yeah i just thought that was kind of funny very curious what people will be saying about this game in the next four years or so Because this game is still pretty new. There's so many people who, like, haven't played any of the newer games at all. Like, they only play old Windows games. Which, like, I don't think is inherently wrong, per se. It's just strange that they won't even, like, give the newer games a chance at all. Though the newer games can start to feel kind of different. I can understand if, like, you've been playing forever because you're, like, a veteran fan. And you're just like, oh, change? I can't have any of that. Well, I, I can understand it, like, superficially. I do think it's kind of silly. Wow. Kind of clutching right now. I will say, D-pad for this game does feel very good. Wow, a rainbow. And here I was thinking the sudden rain was the worst. I'm refreshed to the bottom of my heart. Hey, you, the lady over there. I've got some nice cards, buy something for the room? And immediately I find one. You're selling cards then? If you already know, then this will be quick. I've got some rare cards in right now. I came here to apprehend anyone selling cards. Eh? Prepare yourself. All business. <laughs> Mike's spell cards are so cute. Gotta love the third rainbow. I honestly have a hard time thinking of very many, like, um, cards that are so colorful. I mean, there's, like, Chamada from this game, but I feel like that is the lowest hanging fruit possible. It's like, yeah, of course the rainbow Toho uses <laughs> rainbow spell card. But like outside of that, I'm not sure. Good theme too. <laughs> I know like on the YouTube page for this theme. Well that was kind of unfortunate, but that's okay. Uh, I know on the YouTube page for this theme, like everybody talks about how um... It just sounds like generic Toho theme. Like, if you were to compose a Toho theme to make it sound as Toho as possible, it'd be this theme. And I feel like people mean that a little mean-spirited, but it's I get what they mean, yeah. <laughs> it does sound very Toho. Why? But everyone's dealing in these cards. A everyone? You don't know? Come to think of it, you're the mountain shrine shrine maiden. I shrine shrine maiden. I saw that y your ability card is on the market too. My ability card? Eh? N no way. Even if you beat me, nothing will change. There are traitors all over the place. 
You've got a point. I need to find out who's making the cards. With that out of the way, wanna buy my cards? Maybe you'll find a hint. You're one business savvy cat. Hmm, I'm poor. But that's alright. I do appreciate the system that's like, yeah, if you're poor, you can use power, though. If you want. Can get you really boned, though. <laughs> Not so bad, however. I will say, this background in particular kind of sticks out to me. I feel like it's a little bit of, like... It feels very different. It's very distinctly stylized in a different way. My backgrounds in Toho tend to be, I feel. Oh, hold on, my cat. Hello. Do you like the hangout? It's totally fine. Good to see you. But yeah, just like in general, it's kind of interesting to look at how the game and its like stylization for backgrounds and stuff have changed over the years. <laughs> I struggle with this one really bad. I guess I didn't have to say that, like you could have figured it out. Alright, I know what the bomb button is. I will be very successful. This background also just looks really nice. The Bad Yokai told me not to come around here, but I never knew there was such a mystical cliff. I was right, if it isn't Sanai from the Morias. I thought I was seeing things back there. I'm sorry, but who might you be? I'm Takana Yamashiro, the Yamawara. I helped out with building the railway. So what brings you here today? I'd like to look into the business with the ability cards. Wait, looks like you're carrying cards too. Cards, huh? I figured it was only a matter of time until the Moria Shrine took action, but... These things are still making profit, so I can't let you steal them. The cap are funny. I feel like... They get a lot of time to shine in Wild and Horn Tournament, and you really get to see how they're kind of sleazy. But in a fun way. I think that's a lot of the fun in Toho, is a lot of the characters are a little sleazy. This spell card specifically kind of reminds me of some, like, it feels like an Oren spell card, if that makes sense. But I don't have a specific spell card to point to when I say that, it just feels kind of that way. That was unfortunate. But that's okay. We're learning, we're gaming. This one isn't so bad, honestly. This one's a little scary, I'll be more honest here. But ultimately, not so bad. I don't know why I always play Sinai in this game. It's just like, if Sinai's available, it's like, wow, Sinai's playable in so few games comparatively. Gotta play Sinai. I try it like Raymu or something. I hate spell cards like this. I hate spell cards like this. They're so scary. But that's probably the point, I will admit. It's actually not that bad. It's 
though she's only stage two, it'd be a bad thing if she were that bad. Ah, oh, too bad. Even if you beat me, that won't stop the circulation of the cards. But I don't have any of any way other than going after people one by one. However, I do know the spread of the cards is centered around the mountain. There's no way I can just leave this alone. So all I can do for now is find some merchants and gather information. I see. Then how about I sell you some info? Some intel I was keeping up my sleeve. Yay! Please, please. Whoa, now I won't be free, you know. This is valuable intel. You're being scammed. Hmm. Yeah, I guess I'm only a little off, so that won't take a lot of power from me. So why not? This stage also looks nice. Kind of reminds me of Wild, um, Wily Beast and Weakest Creature. I swear there's a stage that looks very similar to this, but I've been wrong before. So who's to say? That was a beautiful fumble. Really. That's okay. Still getting used to it now. Oh wow! Yeah, it's true. Hi, how's it going? Miss Darling Amore from twitch.tv at Darling Amore. Oh, good heavens. Still getting used to, like, the fine movement with controller. It's a little... It's both, like, not different at all and very different. So noisy. You're bothering me. It's ruining the taste of my tobacco. It's, it's weird. Definitely doable, though. With time, I will become the best Toho controller player in the world. It's a little urn. Um... Yeah, what's up? Oh, goodness gracious. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. I get you. Sometimes days are a little erm. Sometimes weeks are a little erm even. Depends on the day, depends on the week. I think this might be my best playthrough yet. The way I am going through these bullets with ease. Yeah. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah! I mean, it's honestly not the worst. It doesn't feel that much worse than, like, using my keyboard. If anything, I actually have a little bit faster of a reaction time. Like, um, pushing this button, like, left to right on my controller on the D-pad is actually a little bit faster than controller. But, um, well, I don't have muscle memory for this game at all in this hand, so... I think you'd make it this far. Guess you're not just out on a riot. You're... I'm Sanyo, but everyone calls me Kamakusa Deyu. Right, Miss Kamakusa Deyu. You do gambling business and such with the Tenbu. Uh huh. Now that I get a good look, you're the Moria Shrine Maiden. Aren't you not supposed to come here? This isn't what we promised. Right, but this is an emergency. Strange cards are circulating around the mountain and they're, um... Disrupting public morals? Anyway, the cer center of circulation seems like it's around here. I know, right? Sanya's pretty based. I honestly assumed this be your favorite. I need to collect all the cards and bring the situation to an end. Disrupting public morals? Bring the situation to an end? Hm. Are you playing at being the mountain's police officer now? The distribution of cards is essential for the mountain's future. You Moria Shrine folk are the ones disrupting the mountain's public morals. Like, if I had to go, hmm, who's Darling Amor's favorite Toho? This would easily be my first guess. 
Well, no more hot gambling, lady. Sorry, fellas. I'm gonna try rainy. <laughs> yeah. Which, I mean, she is a shrine maiden, so the answer is pretty simple to that question. God, you know the, the bell curve meme with Reimu as a cop? I think about that often. Reimu always feels like playing Reimu. Like, I feel like Sanai kind of feels different. Marissa always feels a little different. Reimu is just Reimu. Gorsh, I'm so, I'm so good at this game. Yeah! <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's a pretty good way to put it, actually. self-appointed neighborhood watch and she thinks she's so cool for it too she thinks she's the best thing that ever happened to that neighborhood <laughs> stop you're so right oh that's just awful yeah through sheer nepotism but she doesn't even realize really she thinks she's like the best. She thinks she's doing so much good. And I'm sure she does some good. But she's kind of a loser. Uh, good. The rain is stopping. The investigation is moving forward. Hey! You, the lady over there. I've got some nice cards. Buy something for the road? Cards, you say? A clue already? That was fast. Ooh, chomping at the bit, eh? It's dangerous to carry those. Hand them over at once. Uh, you're taking them by force, then? That's right. Ability cards are the target of my incident investigation. So stop winding and hand them over. Yeah, <laughs> some of the yokai think Sanai's a scream. Which she is. I mean, she's very polite. When she wants to be. So now it's very interesting because it's like, when it comes to Fanon, I feel like a lot of her, like, single traits survive. But people boil her down to a single trait, but everybody picks a different single trait to boil her down to. And so there's like a few breeds of Sanai you'll see on any given day. I feel like it's really rare to see people actually combine, like, everything she actually is, though. I'm also a bit guilty of this, to be honest. <laughs> I'm gonna go back to practicing Tengu classism now. So true. That's just how it is. The more I have insane nonsense deaths, the more tempted I feel to go back to my keyboard. Ugh, but it's no use attacking me. You can't make me give up the ability cards by force. You need to offer me something of equal value, right? That's the basis of a free economy, right? Fine, fine, I get it. I'll buy them. So much. Hehe. <laughs> no, that's more like it. Have fun! Good luck with whatever you're doing. Oh, Koishi? Wow. That's cool. Alright. I was, I was testing out the ability, don't mind me. Losing us power when you get hit is kind of cool though. Oh, 
a run? Oh yeah, I guess I should bring up topics I like was thinking about. Um, I did finish Perfect Cherry Blossom, like I once CC'd it finally. I I'd been working on that for a while, oh my god. I feel like I've been working on that one for months, off and on. Like I wasn't just like not getting it for like months with like straight up attempts, but it really did take me a very long time. So I finally got that done, which was pretty cool. Um, now my cat is being very mischievous. I was thinking of doing like a voiceover on like some of my 1ccs. I thought that might be fun. Because I feel like there's just, there's not a lot of English Toho content in general, but there's not a lot of like voiceover content really. And like that's something I know I really wanted when I was a beginner and the concept of a 1cc just felt impossible in its entirety. Okay, excuse me ma'am. Who knows what's lurking this deep in the mountain? Is there really anyone doing business in a place like this? Oh, now that I get a look at you, you're the Hakuri Shrine Maiden. Don't see you out in the sticks every day. You're a Kappa. No, you're a Yamawaro, right? That's right, and if you know, and as you know, this cliff is the Yamawaro hideout. It's not a place for humans to come, so go home already. Get out of here. Hold on, those things in your hand. Those are ability cards, right? Cards, huh? I knew I caught a whiff of those. So I'd better deal with this before it becomes a huge fuss. Um, but yeah, I, there's just not a lot of like voiceover content. And, well, content is, I don't like referring to it as content per se, but a lot of videos and stuff like that. I do remember like one video I found really beneficial is like somebody did a walkthrough of like just doing a 1cc of EOSD. And that was just like so helpful because I could see how to do it, I could see their reasoning for what they did and so on. And if they did like a slip up they'd be like, hey I, I did this, don't do that by the way. And like, I don't know, that was just extremely helpful and when I was like learning to play other games I realized that was kind of an anomaly, there wasn't really a lot of videos like that in general. And so even though my 1cc is kind of messy, I feel like that could still be beneficial to somebody as long as I explain like, Hey, uh, here are things I did wrong, by the way, so you shouldn't do what I just did here, etc. And I can do that for my other ones too, I was thinking. So yeah, that might be showing up on my um, YouTube channel at some point, though. Probably not super quickly. I still have to decide like how I want to actually do it. I think responding to it, like, live time, like, live reaction of responding to it would be a little less, like, constructive than if I wrote a script for it, so I might be doing that. But that'll mean doing a little bit of editing, which I despise, I'm not very good at it, but I feel like that would make it of a better quality. But we'll see, you know? I just thought that'd be nice. And hey, maybe someone will see that and then make better ones. <laughs> you know, hop onto the idea, but make ones of better quality as they're better, like, players of the game. Who's to say? Oh, that was a little... That was just a sheer blunder with no excuse. I also might do it for the, um... PC-98. I feel like nobody does covering of any PC-98 stuff, really, except for, like, the end. Too strong but too bad. You can't take the cards by force, that's just how it is. I know, I know. I don't know why there's a rule like that, but I'll buy them. But in exchange, tell me everything you know. Oh, if you're a customer, then that's a different story. If it's info that you want, there's another rule for trading cards. One purchase, one card. Break that and I hear you're in for some scary stuff. Thanks for the important info. Alright, then take a look. They're all top quality goods. Phoenix's tail. Too poor. Hmm. That's kind of hype this early on. I don't think I'll be able to take full advantage of it, but it's still pretty hype. <laughs> I 
moved computers and I just like downloaded Toho again. I didn't bring my replays with me. So I might have to either just beat them again or go through the effort of getting my replays, which would be kind of annoying. I guess just beating them again wouldn't be that hard if I've already once you seed them before the PCB was on this computer though, so I can do that one right away. I have been passively working on EOSD. I didn't know if that game had native controller support and also that game hardly runs on modern windows on a good day. So I wasn't sure about streaming it. I figured I'd probably run into technical difficulties to be honest. But hey, we'll see. It's so noisy, you're bothering me. It's ruining the taste of my tobacco. Cause it's like, that, that could be fun. I know EOSD is really popular too. So I'm sure there'd be more people interested in seeing that. Certainly more than seeing Toho 18. I know people don't care for this one much yet, as I said earlier, but hey, we'll see. Yeah, the fine control on this isn't so bad. That was a horrible time to start saying that, but I'm getting it. I'm getting the amount of pressure I need to put and so on. Gotta have the touch of a surgeon over here. And that's chill. just me i feel like this game is of a harder difficulty than some of the older tohos this does not count i'm talking about when i've played it normally obviously but um i don't know i just feel like it's a lot denser to think you'd make it this far guess you're not just out on a riot who are you exactly where is this I'm Sanyo, but everyone calls me Kamakusa, do you? Do you? And you're the shrine maiden from the lower world shrine. You did well to make it this far. I was after people selling cards, and before I knew it, I was here. So what's that entrance looking thing behind you? Hehe, <laughs> you want to know? Well, I don't feel like telling you. Beyond here, entrance is forbidden. A mysterious entrance high in the mountains. That's suspicious. Way too suspicious. So anyway, if you don't want to get hurt, then scram. You never saw anything here. You got it? If you can't do that, then I'll make it so you can't see anything anymore. Well, that's a little scary. <laughs> I suppose that's alright. Oh, that was kind of clean though. That was kind of clean. That wasn't, though. That was kind of unclean. I guess we have bombs for a reason. I haven't been using any bombs at all. Not good. You should always use your bombs. Save the no bomb, no miss for, like, the professionals, I always say. This isn't so bad. Remember this being a little worse, honestly. I guess I like have played more. That's okay though. <laughs> hey, we can do more Reimu. Actually, I don't know if I've played Soggy yet. Why not a little Soggy yet, real quick? Oh, I see. So that's how it is. Alright. Okay. okay. I have a friend who loves shot types like this. She always gets like, she's, she's talking about how she loves how like she can like 
like cover way more of the screen because of like the angle because it moves wherever you're like moving i find it kind of hard to wrap my head around but <laughs> i've seen some of her gameplay it's crazy she is so cracked she's just really good at toho in general though really cool to see Honestly, she helped me a lot when I'm um, trying to 1cc PCB. She had some really good advice, so that was really nice. I always appreciate that kind of thing. Where it's like, oh yeah, okay. Like, it's just very helpful to have somebody give you pointers. I think, like, the biggest thing that just got me from almost 1ccing to 1ccing, like, within, like, I think literally four attempts was, like, she just gave me some advice for rooting on, um stage four and that just helped with my resources by that point of by the end of the game that i was able to clear it easily once i just started bombing a bit more which was really cool i was just really appreciative for that oh my a rainbow appeared i wish i could show this to the mistress hey you that lady over there i got some nice cards buy something for the road no, thank you. Wait, cards? You mean those mysterious ability cards? So you've got some already, lady? Then this'll be quick. I've got some rare cards in right now. Heh <laughs> Let's take every card you please. Eh? There's no point in laying blockheads like you have something so valuable. If you don't want to get hurt, then hand them over at once. Where was I? Uh, but yeah, there's like a tip during stage 4 of Perfect Cherry Blossom. I wasn't really aware of where it's like... Actually, way easier to not shoot the guys that, like, blow up into a million Danmaku. Because they just, like, become one stream of Danmaku instead of, like, a million pieces of Danmaku. And while I could pretty consistently, like, clear the area w the harder way, I'd still use up a few bombs. Which are very useful during Yomu, because Yomu is awful. Yomu is the horrors. But Yomu's gotten a lot easier. I remember, like, Yomu used to just be completely undoable for me. But I've gotten a lot more consistent at clearing her cards in general, which just feels satisfying. Yuyuko, like, honestly, is not that bad. Like, Yomu is worse than Yuyuko for me, <laughs> I feel. Yomu, like, fucking guzzles my resources, and then I get to Yuyuko, and that's where the easy part begins. The end part is just stressful. I, I will say, like, wow. This is good gameplay. Um, when comparing, like, uh, Yuko to any other boss, I always get so stressed out during her fight specifically just because of, like, the last little segment. Oh, it's no use attacking me, but you'll never make me give up the ability cards by force. You need to offer me something of equal value, right? That's the basis of a free economy, right? Heh <laughs> true. Then I'll pay money, so you'll give me everything. Pleasure doing business, or so I'd like to say, but... You can only buy one, buy one, you can only buy one card at a time, you didn't know that? Eh? Why? Who knows? Seems like the big shots decided it. Hmm. That's good information. Thank you. What are you? Sure. But, um... It's like her final little endurance part when you actually beat her and you have to fight the, like, little ghost. Not even that hard, per se, but it's just, like, I get so stressed <laughs> that I usually kind of fumble. But I think that's the point. It's supposed to, like, ooh. Oh my goodness. Uh, don't mess up or else you will lose your entire run isn't that crazy and the pressure gets to me whereas like with usd i feel nothing when i get to remelia i just i fight remelia it's time to fight remelia i don't get any nerves at all i think part of it though was just like having spent so long trying to get a 1cc on pcb it's like the tension would get to me it's like all these like actual months of work 
And so it's just like, it felt like there was a lot higher stakes to beat it because that would like actually matter to me. Whereas like EOSD is fun, but I don't actually really care about getting a 1cc as much. So it's just like, oh, okay, if I die, I die, whatever. EOSD is basically within my grasp. I probably would, well, I just would have it by now if I just actually played it more. I just have gone a lot of long periods without playing it because it's like it's not a bad game it's just not my favorite like when I open up Toho and I'm like hmm I want to play Toho I usually open like subterranean animism up <laughs> to be honest it's been a while or like DDC it's been a while since I climbed a mountain on my own who knew that Yokai mountain had such a perfect climbing cliff ah so it's a human after all I thought I was seeing things back there what a kappa not a kappa, a yamawaro. We're kind of like comrades. This isn't a place for humans to come, so go home already. Go out of here. I can't do that. Since I can see that you're holding cards too. Cards, huh? I knew I caught a whiff of those. Their power is beyond the grasp of a mere human. Disappear from this mountain. Or you, you could disappear from this mountain. Did you ever consider that, ma'am? Maybe not, but you consider it now. You have the power of persuasion. <laughs> Dive in head on to die. Classic. That's all right. I also feel like just on average spell cards have been getting a bit more complex as the games go on, but like that's awesome. Because they look so cool. Which I mean, that also just makes sense. You get better at making things the longer you do them. Got how much experience does Zune have making spell cards now? I, I can't even imagine. One million years, basically. At least a few decades worth, which is... Yeah, it really is crazy that Toho is still being made and everything. But it's cool. That was pretty bad, I'll be honest. I don't have much to say about that one. This spell card is so much less scary than I thought it was. Oh, <laughs> okay. That doesn't count. That doesn't. That did not happen. So give me one sec.
Alright. I should have gone the other way. That's okay. You know how it is with spaghetti. Too strong, but too bad. You can't take carts by force, that's just how it is. I never intended to. If you want money, I have some. Oh, if you're a customer, then that's a different story. So why didn't you just say so in the first place? You're the one who misunderstood and attacked me. I always intended to buy them. My apologies, I've been so rude. Every last one of these is a limited time offer. Oh, all right. Cool, cool. It's <laughs> so fast. I know there's like a practical use for this sort of thing, but it does not feel like a practical use. I mean, I guess I just showcased a practical use for a millisecond there before dying. <laughs> but it's just wow. It's really fun though. Oh goodness gracious. That was kind of bad. I don't have much to say about that one. We've heard that line like three times today. We don't need to read it again. We know what she's saying. I highly regret <laughs> getting the Tengu card actually. Alright. probably do one more run after this one and call it. It's been like about an hour. Just want to try to get back in the habit of streaming again since I really haven't been doing that very much to be honest. Haven't at all. Thinking of doing some Minecraft soon which kind of is mixing it up but well I like playing Minecraft. I can do like a lot longer streams of that pretty easily. I, Cause like, I will just play by myself and just like spend hours upon hours digging out like a chunk or whatever. And it's like, well I could do that live if I wanted. Alright, one more run. Let's try Marissa. For like, completion's sake. I hit Sakia. My bad. My bad. Yeah, just a little more, so I'll give her a shot. My beam attack. I don't really ever play Marissa. Except in IN and like Subterranean Animism. I play a lot of her in those two. Subterranean Animism because she has 8 power instead of 4. IN because. I don't know, I like her bomb, I guess. Also, her dialogue with Alice is pretty funny. I feel like, yeah, I've probably said this before. Zun's writing really excels when he's writing like two protagonists solving an incident together. Uh, you know, like in 11 and 8. And I just find it extremely funny. It's such a treat. I hope we get another game like that soon. I'd love to see who gets paired up too. If you were to make a game like that in modern day. I think that'd be a really good time. I almost weaseled my way through. 
Not quite, though. Man, that was some awful rain. Mountain weather sure changes quick. Hey, you, the lady over there. I've got some nice cards. Buy something for the road? Cards? You mean these mysterious ability cards? Oh, chomping at the bit, eh? These are dangerous items, not cat toys. <laughs> you said that, but you want them too, right, lady? Besides, they aren't dangerous. Everyone's collecting them. Everyone? This is getting bad. First off, I'll investigate the cards you've got. You ever notice that she has four ears, by the way? That's something I didn't notice right away, and I was just like, huh. Not that weird, I guess. Like, Oren has four ears. I don't think Chen has visible four ears, but it's possible. We just don't know. I know that people tend to have very split opinions on whether they think four years is awful or not. Ugh, it's no use attacking me, but you'll never make me give up the ability cards by force. You need to offer me something of equal value, right? That's the basis of a free economy, right? A free economy? Don't tell me everyone's buying and selling these cards. Of course they are! So you buying or not? Fine, fine. I have no choice. I'll buy, I'll buy. How much? <laughs> now that's more like it. Also, realize that, like, Mike is the only one with tails like a tail you can see though tails and toho are kind of rare you don't see a lot of them ears ears happen ears are not unheard of i like arumi has a tail mike has a tail yachi has a tail I'm sure there's someone else. <laughs> oh, I thought I could kill that in time. Oh well. Who else? Like, I'm talking in Zunart specifically. Like, for example, um... Oh, Ran, of course. All the foxes do. Like, uh, Oren has tails when drawn by other people, but doesn't really have tails when drawn by Zune every, I don't think. Though in her 19 back sprite, she does have the tails, Oren does. Or like, Raisin has a buddy tail in, um, is it Urban Legend in Limbo? I want to say it's Urban Legend in Limbo, is what it's called. But that, again, isn't Zune art. I don't remember if she has one on her back sprite at all. I can't really weigh in on that. I don't think Saren does the... According to the cat from earlier, these cards seem to come from Yokai Mountain, but this is the first time I've been to this remote region with the sheer cliff. Ah, so it's a human after all. I thought I was seeing things back there. And here they come. Guess the cat was lying. Wasn't lying. This cliff is the hideout of Vesiyama Wario. It's no place for humans to come, so go home already. Get out of here. Lucky me, someone with cards showed up right away. Cards, huh? I knew I'd caught a whiff of those. Their power is beyond the grasp of a mere human. Disappear from this mountain. Um... No. Oh. 
Oh, I almost weaseled through the dang. Oh well. <laughs> okay, yeah, that was just, that wasn't any good. That was worse, somehow. Honestly, this is a character I just don't like very much. I don't think she's bad. I'm just not really invested in the Kappa in general that much. Though I do find them funny, conceptually. I think they've got a lot going on in their favor. Just never got too into them. Comparatively to like other characters. That is to say, I don't dislike her, I just don't really like her either. Sheer neutrality. I like that you just get a death beam. That's like a constant with Marissa. You always have a death beam. Too strong, but too bad. You can't take the cards by force. That's just how it is. Can't take them by force, eh? The cat said the same thing. Here, and that makes me feel guilty. There goes my desire to pillage. Fine, I'll buy them. Then I'll investigate them. How much? Oh, if you're a customer, then it's a different story. Here, take a look. Every last one is a great bargain. No, that's Clown Piece. I haven't seen Clown Piece's card. I thought that was the Sun one at a glance. Cool. You know if there's people who've played this game with a steering wheel? I was like, I wonder if someone's done that. And lo and behold, you can look it up and people have. Which, not that surprising in the grand scheme of things. People have probably played everything with a steering wheel if you give them enough time.
saw, like, I don't remember who, but they were talking about how it's like, you should think of, like, bullets as the white part is, like, the part that actually hurts you. The outline isn't. And that was actually kind of beneficial. To think you'd make it this far. Guess you're not just out on a riot. Who are you? I'm Sanya, but everyone calls me Kamakusa, do you? And you are? I'm Marissa Kurosame. Everyone calls me the genius magician, though. <laughs> Alright then, what brings Miss Genius to a mountain peak like this? I'm here to hunt down people selling cards. Seems like you've got some too. So you're right after the cards after all, figures. Then buy your cards from the traders at the foot of the mountain. Get out of here. You're 80 years too early to come by from me. If you won't leave, then I'll make you leave by force. Like, you can just be like, eh, I don't really want to do this spell card. I like that you have the I don't want to do this one button. Very considerate. It's just that easy, ladies and gentlemen. That too. Yeah. Yeah. That's all right. That's okay. Just that easy. Yeah, you're too strong. I wouldn't say I want the cards as much as I would learn their secrets. What exactly are these cards? Who makes them? You don't need to know that sort of thing. Or rather, I don't know either. It's not something us traders need to know. Uh, oh, really? Guess the investigation continues then. By the way, what's the huge opening thing behind you? That's the entrance to Rainbow Dragon Cave. It's mine of it's a mine of dreams where they're making the future of the mountain. It's dangerous inside, so I'm standing watch. Oh no, that's interesting. I better investigate it too. Ugh you. So cool. Oh, I see. Oh, goodness. Love that's like classic Yomu Ghost. That's pretty cute. Yeah, if that one homie is not gonna make it. Thanks me today.
Dang it. Well, gonna gonna call it there. That was awesome, gamers. Uh, thanks for coming, folks, and everything, as always. Take care.